All right, Facebook, I'm back. My daughter said um, she wasn't able to see me, so I, I came back on. I dropped it and came back on. If you are watching, if you are, if you can just um, send a heart out or something, let me know that you can see me and you can hear me. Okay, my daughter has gave me the thumbs up, so we will go. All right, Destiny. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We won't lose our praise, right? <laughs> All right, guys, how y'all doing? How y'all go doing? My name is Stephanie Bush. Hey, Destiny, I love you. And this is Tuesday Night Tips, Making America Great. Praise the Lord. It's all about Jesus. We give him all the honor. We give him all the glory. It's all about him. It's all about Jesus. So making America great is about Jesus. We cannot be great if Jesus is not the head. We will never be great if Jesus is not the head that is making america great putting god back where he belongs in every area of our lives in america and who is the the nation we are the we are the nation so we give him glory we reference jesus we believe in jesus jesus christ we praise no other god we praise no other idol it is jesus and jesus alone we praise and worship no other idol there is no one besides jesus no witchcraft no buddha no anything that goes against god's word we don't worship idols we don't worship people we don't worship things and materials it's it's all about God. He gets all the glory. It's about you, Jesus. It's about Jesus Christ. It's about Jesus Christ. We honor and we praise him because without him, we would not be here. Without him, we would be living in a dying hell. Without him, we would not have been redeemed. So we thank you, Jesus. It's so much more. We can't even thank him enough for what he's done and doing and will do for us. What he's done and, and doing and will do for us. Oh, we can't, we can't thank him enough. If you look back over your life, you can just think about the things that should have and could have and would have happened. We can't thank Jesus enough. He is worthy of all the praise. He is worthy of all the praise. We will, we will magnify his name. We will lift his name on high. No matter what comes, no matter what goes, we will magnify the Lord. We will praise the Lord for he is worthy. He is worthy. He is worthy to be praised. So right now, Heavenly Father, we worship in the Holy Spirit. We are worshiping the Holy Spirit. I pray, Heavenly Father, right now that you take over this message in the name of Jesus. Oh, Holy Spirit, you take over this message and you deliver it. You deliver this message to your people. As I listen, we, we wait to hear the word from you. You take over, not by might, not by power, but by your spirit, God. Send your spirit through the airways, God. Send your spirits to the through, through the airway so there's no interruption, no distraction of any kind from the enemy, Heavenly Father. Oh God, we rest and abide in you, Heavenly Father. Oh God, you said that you would slap our enemies in the name of Jesus in Psalms. So Heavenly Father, I ask right now to slap the enemy of any devices that he tries to take place of people hearing your word. Oh, and not just in, in America, but Heavenly Father, all over the nation right now in the name of Jesus. Let God arise and let the enemy be enemy be scattered. We praise your name, Heavenly Father, for you are the God, for you are the God that put that, that, that uses the earth as your footstool. How big you are. You are the God that uses the earth as your footstool. So, Heavenly Father, there is nothing too big for you, Heavenly Father. No coronavirus, no delta virus, no, 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 no sickness, no death, no, no plague, no famine too big for you, Heavenly Father. There is no army too too big for you, Heavenly Father, for you are the Father of all nations, and we worship you. We worship your Son, Jesus, for it is Jesus is Lord. Jesus is God. You yourself came down to rescue us, so we thank you, Heavenly Father, and we give you all the glory, and it is in your name, Jesus, that we pray. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Glory be to God. I hope everybody is having a great and wonderful Tuesday. Welcome. My name is Stephanie Bush. Welcome to uh, uh, TNT Tuesday Night Tips. Uh, making America great. And making America great is putting God first. Putting prayer back in our schools. Putting 
prayer back in our jobs, talking about God on our job, putting God back where he belongs, putting God back where he belongs. Everywhere that the enemy took, tried to take territory, TNT, making America great is territory taken. Ter taking back the territory in the schoolhouses, taking back the territory at the job, taking back the territory in the communities, taking back territory, taking back the territory because God gave it to the saints. God gave it to the believers so it don't belong to the enemy. Taking back territory in places in your communities, in your states, in your cities, wherever you live in the United States, taking back the rightful place for we are ambassadors of Christ, standing boldly for Christ. We are taking back territory for Jesus. We are, we are, we are, we are worthy to be used by Jesus to, uh, that he would even, uh, uh, God would even use us. But this is what TNT stands for. And I am an army veteran and I've served my country and I, I um, will always uh, uh, be dedicated to America. Even though we have our flaws, we are free. But we are free to praise Jesus. We are free not to be running our mouth and saying things against the word of God and being evil to each other. But we are free to worship Jesus and live in a peaceful and joyful world. And you can live in a peaceful and joyful environment in your home. But it can only happen with Jesus Christ. Even from the White House to the Supreme Court, if Jesus is, has to be put 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 in put back in place we have to cry on the name of Jesus even the president from the president on down has to cry out to Jesus because if we do not cry out to Jesus if we do not put him back there will be more and more and more and more destruction to come Jesus is the only answer for America today no matter what is going on right now Jesus is the answer it is that simple because he is the God God, I am. He is the God for you. He is bigger and greater. He is the creator. He is the God that takes his foot and use the earth as a footstool. Yes, that's who we serve. So that's who we need. And we don't need any other directions from anybody else on how to solve things. America has to cry out to Jesus. That's what's going on. Our school system without children. Yes, we're worried about the PPP and the mask and all that. But what our children need is prayer back in school. Prayer has to be put back in school because prayer is a weapon against the enemy. The, the prayer is a weapon against the enemy. That's why you have so many school shootings and children not listening to teachers and kids not obeying the teachers and you having homosexuality going on amongst our teenagers and the little kids. You having kids and in, in, in younger and, and, and even as far as kindergarten talking about they want a sex change. This is why the enemy is running rapid because prayer changes things and when you pray you don't pray on one thing specific. Each time the, the, uh, when you pray, you get the you you pray on things that God is having you to pray for because prayer route demons. Prayer route demons, and the reason why American school system is being ran rampant with the with Satan is because we have allowed uh, 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 atheists to come in and take out prayer in school. Therefore, you have children that don't know God. Therefore, you have children that have been molested coming there, don't have nobody to tell because the teachers aren't spiritually inclined. See, when you have prayer in school, you got the spirit of God, and the demons can't stay there. It routes them. Children that don't know God will be introduced to God. You see what I'm saying? So this is what America TNT is all about. We have to make a change. We have to cry out to Jesus wherever we've taken out Jesus and allowed the atheists to take to come in and tell and tell uh, uh, America what to do. And in God we trust. We will not succeed unless Jesus is put back to the head. Decisions are being made by man right now that are destroying the
the nations, that are destroying the nation, that is destroying the nation, and it, it won't be so. It will not be so because uh, we have warriors that are standing up. We are standing up and, and, and we are taking back territory. That's what God is having me to talk about tonight. Taking back territory. David said, ask God, shall we pursue? It's time to pursue. It's time to take back territory. How in the world have we allowed America to allow atheists to come in and allow Buddhists and Muslims to come in and tell us how to run our country in God we trust? Not so. We see you, Bar Jesus. We have to arise. How is it so that our children are going to school and they cannot pray because people are offended by our God? Not so. So God said not so until we put Jesus back at the forefront, until we put Jesus back at the forefront, God said more destruction is to come. I'm not saying that God is, is, is of COVID and nothing like that, but we have to understand God is a just God. God is a just God and he'll put some things in your way sometimes where you we have to call on the name of Jesus. He'll put you in a situation where you don't have nobody else to call on or depend on but Jesus. So glory be to God. This is what he has for me to tell you tonight. He said that God is going, God told me to tell you, God is going to move mountains. He's going to move mountains in America. See, America links on to the other states. We are we, and, and, and nations, but first, God is God is going to move the mountains. God is going to move the mountains, but we things we have to put back first before God moves the mountains. Prayer back in school is the biggest thing God has given me. He gave me that in 2019 to start a campaign of prayer being put back in school. Satan is attacking the generations. And we as Christians have let, have let the ball fall because we have not realized what Satan is doing. Satan is coming after our future. The future. The future generation. You can get all the PP masks, I'm not saying, and all the shots of COVID, but we have not put God back in, in where he belongs in school. God has to be put back in school. Prayer has to be put back in school. We can no longer let atheists and Muslims or, or anybody say that they are offended by God. If you are offended by God, you can't be in America because it's in God we trust. How can you be offended by God and it's in God we trust, but you want to be a citizen here, but you want to stay here? I have a news flash that God gave me this week. You do not have to stay in America. We have a free will, everybody. doesn't matter what color you are. You do not have to stay in America. You have a free will to lead, but America has to put God back first. In order for the mountains to move, God said we have to put him back first. We have allowed the enemy to come in and take over. We have allowed the enemy to come in and take over even in our White House. How are you going to have people in the White House that said that they don't want God to be, sick, to be, to be, be named in the thing?